Hi and hello everyone and welcome back to our EU4 multiplayer series featuring myself, Berg787, Torio and Grey Hunter. Say hello guys. Hello. Hello. <coughs> superb, superb. Okay. Continue. Yeah. Grey Hunter is a, in a bit of a bind here. He'll be alright. I'm riding it out. I'm going down in flames. They want to take me, they have to fight for it. They have to... FIGHT ME! <laughs> pretty much. I Here like, they come. I like the way you teed that up there, Torio. That was pretty good. Here they come. There we go. Oh, a bottle. I wish I could see. I almost yep. feel like allying one of you so I can just see what's going on over there. Versus my 7,000. I'm screwed, but, you know. It's a fight to remember. Our oh, descendants will remember the heroic sacrifice. I will, I will remember exactly. that there, there used to be a country called Bavaria. I'll, I'll remember that. Exactly. Don't when others have long forgotten, I'll <laughs> still remember. You know, I'm actually okay with it. I kind of, I kind of wouldn't mind having my country completely destroyed because you know, it could be an, it'd be an interesting turn no. of events. I've never had, I've never actually lost an entire country. I, I, I would say. Played games of EU4. I would say, Grey Hunter, you're, um, you are right, because look, come on. Do, do, do people really just want to see people kicking ass and getting bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger? Is that really what you want to watch? Isn't that a little bit boring? I kind of like this. Yeah. Is, don't you want to see people I'm struggle? I'm watching this. I'm watching this and thinking, this will be it's great disaster. if they tear me apart. Well, that's what... Well, Alright, let's not spin it too much. Like, you know... <laughs> it would be quite that great, but like... <laughs> It'll be, it'll be, it's like good TV. You don't watch boring, no, normal that, run of the movie. No, no, stuff. no, no, no. But I agree with you that, yes, it is, it is a case of, um, you know, stuff like that is more exciting than, than just sort of like man stomping the the earth, you know, kind of like what Toriel is doing. Hey. Just, uh, yeah, I'll just conquer Scotland, set my sights on England. We'll see. And no one does anything. There's no coalitions or anything like that. There's a coalition, but they still haven't attacked because they have good allies. It's because they're pussies, that's why. Who's your allies, anyway? Um, Castile, Poland, Austria, and Denmark. Yeah, they are pretty good allies. Yes, they but are. Would they all actually come and defend you, though, if a, co if a coalition war kicked off? I don't know, but if I got, for example, Castile and Poland, I would be okay, I think. Denmark is pretty useless, but if I got at least two of the others, I think I'll be fine. Otherwise, I'll just lose the provinces I just took. Which is sad, but acceptable. Alright, hurry up. Aggressive expansion. We're off. Be done in about five more years, I think. And when does my truce with the Papal State end? 89. In six years. Excellent. That's pretty good timing. And I do have a claim. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I got a pop-up. Which gave me a claim on Ancona. Mm. Nice. So I didn't even have to waste time fabricating a claim. You've grown quite nicely in that short time, and you don't have a coalition, do you? No, because I kind of plan when I, I don't just go, oh, mum, 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 e, 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 e. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry, give me provinces. Oh, I'm full up. Oh, bellyache. Oh, no, who are these guys? Oh, I've been waylaid. Oh, I've thrown up. Oh, no, my provinces are gone. Yeah, I don't do that. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, that's that's usually what I do. Yeah. But the coalition is still growing. If you check it out, uh, Brandenburg just joined and a couple of other guys. Let's have a look. Because I very rarely use this. So if I click on your country whilst... Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, that is... Um, it's quite nice. It's basically like the whole northwestern Europe. Mm. As long as England and France and the big ones don't join, I might be fine. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of countries. Mm -hmm. But they're small. They are small, but in a, in a way, it's almost worse that way because that's a lot of trick. Because like, even a small country can probably produce more individual troops than what a province would end up producing for a bigger country. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think there's a bonus to that. So the there small is. countries are mm, yeah, that's what that, that's what I'm saying. So like, if that province was just actually part of a bigger country, it would actually end up equating to less soldiers fighting you than what it does as a as an independent country or something like that. What's interesting is that as a as a country, mm -hmm. the one that I picked is actually fairly weak because of the because it's got five provinces of all, which is fantastic and it's got money, but the force limit is tiny, so you can't afford to go over it. Yeah, you can't really start expanding it either like, until a bit later on. 
yeah whereas like the little one province miners around me they can have maybe six seven thousand troops oh here we go Visually. here we go what did you do monster declared war on him <laughs> oh good this old diplomatic map mode so the At war is... with Munster, Mainz, Magdeburg, Saxony, Anhalt, Lorraine, the Palatine, Aachen, Ulm, Baden, Burgundy, Brabant, Flanders, the Hansa, Wurzburg, Tier, Brandenburg, Sax, Lorenburg, and Frankfurt. But on my side, I have Castile, Aragon, Naples, Austria, Poland, Lithuania, Denmark, Norway, and some small country in the middle of Germany, Alsace. Oh, not those smelly Alsacians, man. This ought to be good. Ah, he's going to be but fine. I the only thing that could fuck you up is that like, all your actual allies are quite far <laughs> away from your capital. A day and a peace out, for example. Yeah, I don't mm, know if they will peace out. I think you'll be fine. I think I'll just run to Scotland for now. That's what you should do. Move Aww. your capital to Scotland. No. <laughs> Why? Because you're scared that England will beat you up then. That's one thing, but uh, also you can't do that while at war, and... Uh, well, I didn't mean, like, literally right now, I meant... <laughs> mm -hmm. And also, I have a very good trade mm, spot uh, yeah. where I'm at. Imagine how snid that would be if you just went, no, 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 I know you think you've got my capital siege, but no, 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 I changed it. <laughs> no, it's not actually my capital. No, no, no. I think you'll fine. I think, I think you'll find that we actually changed it. Mm. I don't care what it says in your books. It's not my capital. <laughs> Who would know, me or you? It's my country. Who's in charge here? Me or you? I sometimes wonder. You know what? My mm. manpower's recovered enough that I can probably start getting rid of some of these, this standing Run. mercenary army. Run to Scotland. Come on, Salzburg. You've literally got everything I have sieged. Hurry up and fucking decide what you want. Yeah, Salzburg. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's not that difficult. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Like, oh my god. Oh, well, it's I funny though, because I so. tried to offer them. Mm. Oh, you to know why their they asshole? can't peace out? Uh, you're at war with two people, and each of them siege half of, uh, sieged half of your country, and they both want everything. Yeah, I know. That might actually be beneficial to you, because while they wait, they get. Uh, Is it two separate wars? Yes. Yeah. All right, okay. Jesus Christ. It's Somebody else decided, oh, well, we're at war with somebody now. And I was like, fuck it. I'm already, I'm already going to die. That's always like the war. perpetual fear, isn't it? When like you, you kind of think you always worried that someone's going to like fuck you when you're like in a war. You think everything's going good. Yeah, this is going to be fine. And all of a sudden declaration of war from someone else. And you're like, oh, man, didn't need that. Well, pretty much. I mean, the moment that it said Bohemia had entered the war on Salzburg's side, I was like, well, not winning this one. Yeah. I'm just sitting my war out in Scotland. Might need to run there with my country. Run, run, run. Okay, I'm going to completely finish economic ideas. I would have had it done quicker if I didn't have to core a couple of provinces. What do they give you? Um, I need to check that. Uh, Money, national mostly. tax modifier, build cost modifier, yearly inflation reduction, uh, interest reduction, uh, autonomy reduction, uh, land maintenance reduction, and production um, efficiency. The last thing is good. Development cost minus 20%. Mm. What? Where's development cost? Um, that's the, the the one you get for completing all of it. You oh, know, right. this yeah, yeah, tiny yeah, yeah. light bulb. Yeah, well, that's what I just got. Good. It's pretty good, eh? Yeah, you've grown quite nicely. It's not bad. Well, considering I was stifled for so many years, like for the first basically block of episodes, for the first week of episodes, I couldn't really do much because I kept having to answer Francis' call to arms. Mm, um, that's fine. That's true. I'm pretty uh, pleased with how things have gone. Right. Oh, great. That's one stability. Puts me back to zero. Okay, I can't really do anything. I have to wait for my allies' help. But yeah, I'm 10th uh, overall in score, which is quite nice. Solid. Solid, solid. What are you doing, Austria? Why are you fighting? Who are you fighting? Uh, they're helping Oh, me. right. They came in on your side, didn't they? Of course. Yeah. We have so many big countries, but I think we're losing. 
Hopefully. <laughs> Those small countries actually have a lot of troops. It'd be pretty good if you, if you did lose. Minus nine. Well, that's what it says. Oh, look at that. More Antwerpen has fallen. No, Breda. Yeah. Oh, it's not properly fallen, though. Mm. Anne of Cleves has fallen. And Köln. 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 Cologne. I'm gonna splash on some cologne tonight and go to the party <laughs> right, Fernando. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a pity uh, you can't check the, the force balance of a war in multiplayer. I know that is. A, I don't know what, why. Why not? Like, if you can do it in single player, why not in multiplayer? What difference does it make? And so, so you don't know how many. Troops, all the difference. No. Yeah, but. Oh, the ledger is still up, of course. You can disable the ledger in the options before a multiplayer game. I hope you could also enable or disable the total um, balance of forces, because I would like to see that. That balance of forces. The thing is, you should have a rough estimate. Maybe it shouldn't be, like, exact, but you well, should really... Mm -hmm. It should be something to do maybe with your technology level, or maybe at least that would be, like, some sort of thing that you would get from taking spying or something like that. Like, like Yeah, a... you could guess. Yeah, and like then you'd have a rough estimate. Actually, yeah. From a rough, a rough estimate, the enemy has about 80,000 troops, I mean, probably. As you said, you can find out if you go to the ledger and all that, but I'm just saying, in general, you, you, would, you wouldn't be, like, completely oblivious to how many troops, like, a, a country has. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you'd have a rough idea. You might not be spot on, but you'd be like, okay, well, approximately somewhere in that region. You know what? Uh, most of the armies of all of my allies have been wiped. <laughs> well, your capital still stands, right? Yeah, not for long. Is it being I... sieged? Not yet. Hang on a minute. Hang on one minute. What have you asked me, Salzburg? What is it you want exactly? Everything. I will say, Tori, I don't mean to be mean about saying hopefully that you get crushed. Uh, I don't want you necessarily get crushed, but just for, you know, you, you've had a pretty strong start, you know. And I I, as, as we say, like, you know, we like to see people struggle a little bit. <laughs> I and, did good. And you've not had a lot of struggling. I suppose I could give up Claves, Köln and Breda if I was made to do that. I do want to keep uh, the you know bits you need from it. the Netherlands. You're sticking it oh, out, are you? Uh, oh crap! You lost two nope. bonuses. I gave, yeah, I gave right. it to him. I don't care. They can have it. You take can it you, back. Can you win the war with Baden now? Uh, well, that's the thing. I wonder if I can win against Baden now because I, oh, I don't have any money. Okay, still, Loan still not really days. improved. I would loan you some money. I don't have with heavy money. interest, but like uh, I don't actually have enough to loan. I've only got like forty-eight gold. I can send you some money. No, no, no. If you send him money, it's oh, got to... Yeah. No, no, but it's not... no, 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 no. That's not what no, I was going to say. I was going to say a proper loan in the game, you offer him a loan with proper interest and stuff like that. Actual in-game loan you offer. Not, I'll do you a loan and then you pay me back. You know? Yeah, this way. Yeah, you have to offer him like a proper loan on the game. Let's do it like that. Oh, I actually don't want it. I... Well, I'm he's saying he doesn't want it okay. there, so it doesn't matter, Toria. I'm actually perfectly fine with fighting this war out and losing. I would, it, it would be a new thing for me. I like it. Oh, you know what? If you if you took a couple of loans and built mercenaries really quickly, you, should, you could still win, I suppose. Yeah, I know I can win. Uh, uh, nah, I don't know. Well, if you know you can win, hold on, though. there's a difference between being okay I with taking losses. Win. But if you, yeah, I was about to say, if you if you know you can win and then just they're like, ah, I don't care, like just let them, let me lose. That's a different story to sort of being like, because at first your your thing was like, well, there's nothing I can do here. I've been stomped, so, but I'm okay with it. That's all right. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. But then to no, turn around and say, it's now you could no, I understand now it's you. It's a small nation. Well, then try and win. Now it's a one province minor. Well, try and try and win. That's what I'm saying. I can in, win it. In this regards, in, in this in this combat now, when it's you're only in one war, try and win that one. Yeah, I am. That's okay. what I'm doing. Oh, sorry, I thought you were saying like, sorry, I misunderstood. I thought you were saying, well, I could win, but I'm completely okay with just letting them beat me up. I was like, what? That doesn't make sense. No, 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 no. Yeah, sorry, that's I why I was confused. Yeah, that's why I was confused. I was like, well, that's not really, you know. <laughs> No, I think I have a shot now. Because before, it was Bohemia. I can't you, fight Bohemia. Pause, done, pause type thing. I don't know if you meant to do that. Oh, god damn it. You only need to press it yeah, once. There is like, a bit of a delay. But just press it once and don't like double click it or something like that. It will unpause. No, I did press it once. That was the thing. Sometimes it just clicks twice. All right, mm. okay. Sorry. So who am I fighting now? I'm fighting Ulm and I'm fighting Barden. And Ravensburg is no longer allied with me. That's fine. 
it's look it looks like I might lose this war miserably, but the, uh, there's a glimmer of hope. I have a new general, Van Helsing. Oh, really? Sorry. General Van, Van Helsing. Helsing? Sorry, Van Hesseling. Almost, almost oh, there. Oh, Venengor of Hesseling. Cool. And France, by the way, a green heart with me again. Oh, me too, for some It was reason. almost fantastic. Yeah, you're never going to be really buddy with no. You're allied with too many of their rivals. Yeah, unfortunately. But if I drop Austria, for example, at some point, I might. Or Castile, one of those. I just keep harking back to uh, the alternate universe where um, you were neighbours with Austria. <laughs> yeah, the alternate universe Actually, where somebody was fucked. If if this happens now, uh, the Burgundian inheritance will really, really help me because uh, Burgundy is the backbone of the coalition. If it would if be funny this... if Austria took their place, they were like, "So wait a second, we've inherited, but what were they doing? They were in a co okay, we'll just continue to mantle." <laughs> would be pretty funny. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to be out go to war with the Pope pretty soon. When does my peace treaty expire? Or my truce? Oh, 89. Oh, fuck no, that's quite a while away. Got to set my eyes elsewhere. Oh, How much longer have we got that unlawful territory thing? It's still another 13 years. Okay. Damn. Don't really want to be taking more unlawful territory, do I? We no longer care for people who embrace Flemish. Well, that's not very well. nice. Oh, finally, Poland is helping. There we go. Now I've got my land back. What? Hold on, Corsica's part of the what empire? What the hell is that? I didn't know that. So? What? Sorry? I didn't realise Corsica was part of the HRE. Oh, right. Interesting. You okay, I'm going to be broke, but I at least have an army that I can fight with. You know what, Spain? And Castile is beating up on Baden, so I might be able to win this one. What am I even fighting for? I don't even know what I agreed to fight for. Oh man, if only France wasn't three thousand in debt, they would declare war on. They would declare war on. Um, on okay. Naples for me. I know that who they'd be allied with, but I kind of want to see if we can beat up Castile, me and France, and some other allies. Because if we can beat them up enough, we can disable. We can break that personal union. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good plan. What one hundred percent war score? For cancelling Vassal? Yeah. Or well. do you mean just uh, get them low enough on prestige so it would break on its own? Something on those lines. There's got to be a way to ruin it. It can't just be like, that's it. Yeah, yeah there is. There probably is. When you get... Um, either they have to get negative relations or... Um, get... Uh, Castile has to get under zero prestige for this to break. But it only breaks when the ruler dies, then. We can do it. Now would have been a good time as well, considering they're in your coalition war. <laughs> no, it would have been. like because Yes, it would. It but, would kind of screw me over, but... Yeah, I know, but I, it wouldn't screw me over. It'd be doing something that's incredibly beneficial for my country's future progress. Yes, probably. It would be. Um, but I can't because France won't do it because France are almost 3,000 ducats in debt. Funnily enough, Naples has a positive relations with me. Naples? They've got green heart with me, yeah. Come on, oh, Naples! Really? Break off! Break off! Don't, don't stay part of this silly... Um... Can you theoretically support their independence? Do they want you to? They don't Probably want not. To. But... No, they massively don't want me to. They're very loyal to Castile. Although saying that, no, if they weren't loyal to Castile, I could do it. I'd have one point of positive in, in my favour to do so. It's well, not bad. And if they weren't at war. What about you, Aragorn? Are you loyal to Castile? Less so. I could overpay again for military technology. If only I could ally Are you kidding audience. me? Where the hell did you get that army? You sons of bitches. What happened? Oh, Apparently that. Ulm and, uh, yeah, apparently they were off fighting you and decided, you know what, actually, it's really important that we come back over here and get Wurttemberg back. Why don't you improve your, um... Why, why don't you improve provinces. your... Yeah, your, your provinces, yeah, with the excess mm -hmm. points. 
might be a good idea, but I'm not sure which of them I will <laughs> I will have left after this war. Mm. Well, obviously right now, but you don't have to spend the points instantly, do you? You can wait. I mean, I'm at 90, uh, 962, so soon I will have to. Because I'm almost capital military. That's why I'm... That's why Just I'm... spend it on your capital. You're not going to lose your capital. And your capital's already got five, so six. Yeah. You're going to build, build a barracks there or something like that. You know, oh. add 50% to the manpower. Oh. oh, I know. I'd probably spend it on those that have 17 or 16. Then, if when you get to 20, you get an extra building slot. You do. One thing I have found is sort of like prioritizing you can sort of like improve loads of provinces but sometimes it's better to just sort of prioritize on specific provinces otherwise you end up spending loads of points and not actually making anything super great essentially mm, you guys are probably not interested in that very much but uh, burgundy lost their personal unions over brabant and flanders yeah you're right you, you guessed right i wasn't interested in it <laughs> <laughs> How you know me so well? Right. I wonder, should I take anything in this war if I win? What the war that you're losing, aren't you? Um, I think it's been turned around. A bit, at least. Well, Castile's come over and stomped people. Mm -hmm. Over on this side. Most of Brandenburg is occupied already. Saxony and the other small guys are being sieged by Poland. You and your alliances. I mean, I'd like to take stuff. For example, Hamburg. It's such a good province. But then, the aggressive expansion would get even bigger. I don't know, man. I think it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> take everything. Yeah, just keep taking while you can. Worry about take the consequences later. It's, uh, it's future Torio's problem. It is future Torio's problem. Current Torio, take it. Future Torio can worry about it. And I'll tell you what, next episode, Tori, you can worry about it, because that is it. We have run out of time. So we hit the pause button. So thank you, dear viewer. It's been a pretty good series so far. I'm definitely enjoying it. And I'm not just saying that because I'm playing in it. If I actually found it boring, I'd just stop playing. So there you go. Uh, yeah, he does that. I do do that. I just <laughs> stop. Just randomly stop. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed the episodes, please do show support by liking the videos, leave your comments, all that jazz. Get interactive. Interact with us. It's great. Even if you want to insult us, it's brilliant. Um, so until next time, take care. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye.